Hey everybody, it's Chugga Connor. Welcome back to more Pokemon Fire Red. In the last part, we got to Boone Island, which is the second island in the Sevi Islands. This part, we're going to do the favor that the nerds asked us to do. What's this guy saying? Estelle. Which brings me lunch every day. Lostelle's. Have you seen Lostelle? Lostelle. Yeah, fitting name for... Lostelle's a cutie. She's got my looks. What is some... Wait a minute. Alright. He wants us to go to three islands. Uh, dude, it is illegal to ride your bike indoors. I must apprehend you for that. Scuffed up your floor. Wait a minute, is that the only reason why we're not allowed to ride our bikes indoors? Because you scuffed the floor? <sighs> Nintendo logic. But before we go, there's a few things you're probably going to want to do here. Uh, this guy has... Only Great Ball and Freshwater for now, though. But as you get farther in the game, he gets more items. There's some items you can only buy through him. You go up here to Cape Brink. And there's a few things you can do up here. Uh, well, really only one thing besides catching Pokemon. This lady here perfect the ultimate move each time. Alright. Five percent out. What you really want to do is get your starter out in the first position. Alright. If you have your starter, she will teach your Ven If you have a Venusaur, she'll teach it Frenzy Plant, a Charizard Blast Burn, or a Blastoise Hydro Cannon. This is basically the equivalent of Hyper Beam for Grass Fire or Water types. So, let's just go ahead and get it on there, you know? I think I'll use it as just a, a move in some of the later fights in the game. Um, I'll get rid of Tackle for it just because it's so weak. Like I said, Frenzy Plant, it's like the Hyper Beam for Grass types. It's basically like, it's so, 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 so incredibly powerful, but you're left helpless the next turn after using it. You can't switch, you can't attack, you can't use items, nothing. Uh, okay, bye, creepy lady. Now that that scary experience is over, let's just go ahead and head over to Three Island, otherwise known as Kin Island, because that guy at the game corner told us to, because he wants his daughter to get her ass in the kitchen to make him some sandwiches. <laughs> ah, whatever. What's this? What is in here? Three Isle Path. Yeah, this looks like a great path, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like... Yeah, this is a path. No... Ah, never mind. She got to say. Call the police. Okay, apparently there's some biker dudes that are... Can't you bike federation? What? Cycling Road wasn't good enough for you? You know what? I'm gonna get on my own bike, just because I want to. What do you gotta say about it? Island now, all your islander belong to us. Whatever. Go back to Kanto right now. Yeah, you don't belong in Sevi. You're a Kanto Indian. I don't know. Let's see, no, I don't get it all. Look at this place. What, what do you do for entertainment? You ought to be thanking us for living up the sleepy village. But if you insist, you can try to making us leave. You're cowards, so tough at a pack. Oh, sure, we'll make something of it. Fine. What's your name, huh? Goon. Are you serious? Goon. Okay, fine. I think Goon was a popular baby name ever since Pelswick got cancelled, but whatever. Let's throw Mr. Mime out there just because Venusaur isn't a good type matchup for coughing. No, it's not a good type matchup for coughing. Let's just do Psybeam. Mr. Mime's only two levels away from learning Psychic, and I can't wait till that happens, because that's going to be just amazing. Mr. Mime's going to be even more ridiculously overpowered. Woo! Venusaur grew a level. And Mr. Mime didn't grow a level. Screw that. Alright. Kind of hate how many required fights there are in this part of the game, you know, like having to fight just, just a few bikers you have to fight. I think you have to fight four of them, just one after another. I guess I could always just speed through the rest of them if they get too repetitive. Actually, yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll just speed through the rest of them.
No, they're all taking care of it. Wait. Okay, they all look exactly the same. Alright, fine. So this is just another biker, I guess. Wait a minute, cue ball! You just had a pink mohawk a second ago. Where'd it come from? Paxton! Wow. Didn't know Paxton was a first name. <laughs> Bill Paxton. Ah, whatever. Anyway, he's got a wheezing, as you can clearly see there. Wheezing will... S wheezing's amazing at standing to physical attacks, though, so only special attacks are really going to work on it all that well. Uh, let's just go ahead and side-beam it up the... Well, then again, it doesn't have an ass, so I don't know why you'd be side-beaming it up. Side-beaming it up the second head. Then he has that third segment of it also a head, just it doesn't have a face on it. I don't get it. You know, what is one of those evolutions that were just two or three of the first evolution in the original game? I mean, you know, you had wheezing. Actually, I think I brought that up in a previous video, too. Yeah, what is it with those... And then look at Muck. It's just Grimer that got bigger. And on top of that, Muck weighs the same thing as Grimer, which is really weird. Or it's like Polywhirl. All it does is get angry. I mean... A lot of people criticize the newer generations of Pokemon, though, but you have to admit, the original generation had its share of, you know, uncreative evolution. So, yeah. Muck, would you please die? Thank you. Muck is special, Weezing is physical. And thank you for that. Okay, now you'll leave. Yes, yes, yes. Just go away. I don't belong in this one. Hayseeds. Yay, we get a full restore! I like this newfangled full restore crap. For Lastel. Lastel went off toward Bond Bridge a while ago. Alright. So I guess we're heading there, wherever that is. What do you gotta say? You're not Lastel. You're probably going to Berry Forest. Mixed berries there. Alright. So. Wait, the guy doesn't want the girl to make him some sandwiches, wants to make him, like, something with berries? Weak! I say weak! Sandwiches are the way to go when commanding a woman. <laughs> uh, I, I'm being such a chauvinist jerk in this video. I don't know why, I'm, I just, I am. I don't know what my deal is. Now, let's see, isn't there a hidden item in here? No. God, what is with my hidden item senses just being off, like, all the time? There's a double battle right there with those two girls. Um, okay, this has got to be a hidden item. Yeah, that, Max Rappel, okay, that had to be a hidden item. If that wasn't a hidden item, I, hid, hidden item, I did Oh, whatever. Hidden item, I would have been pissed, alright? Ooh, an aroma lady. I like aroma ladies. Your name pun, Violet. <laughs> you know what, Bulbasaur? Actually, no, I was gonna do Frenzy Plant though, but nah, it isn't worth doing. I think her team is Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, if I remember. Uh, yeah, it, it's not worth trying to do it. Just because, you know. <laughs> Sorry for the on there. Uh, it's not worth trying to do it though, because Bulbasaur is quad resistant to it, so yeah, we're not gonna test out Frenzy Plant just yet. Sorry about the yawn there, just that I, uh... I'm supposed to be going to sleep very soon, though, because I am leaving for Arizona in the morning. I'm recording this. Ivysaur, go down. Fall to my Mr. Mime thing. And let me guess, your last Pokemon's a Venusaur. If I'm not red, I'm gonna eat my shoes. Oh, I have to eat my shoes now. Why would you... Why do you have a level, not just one level 36 Ivysaur, but two level 36 Ivysaurs? And even worse, why do you have a level 36 Bulbasaur? What is it with these trainers and not evolving their Pokemon? Jeez. It's just, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. It's like, what? Is evolution, like, frowned upon? Yeah, you're learning Psychic! I'm getting rid of Psybeam for that, because I want to have, you know, a better offensive Psychic attack. This doesn't cause confusion, but instead it has a chance of lowering the opponent's special defense. Anyway, though, we're coming up, we're cutting a bit low on time, coming a bit low on time here, so I think we're going to end this off right here, alright? So, next time Pokemon Fire Red, we are going to hopefully find Lostel in Berry Forest. See you guys then. And off camera, I'm going to fight these trainers. See you guys then.